Hey YouTube, my name is Steve from Supermods Computing Technologies. Today we're going to be working on a Lenovo Idea Center A540. We're also going to be upgrading the hard drive with a Samsung SSD Evo 850 SSD hard drive. And we're going to be also installing crucial 4 gig RAMs DDR3 chips. What happened with this computer is the original hard drive failed. So now we're going to open it up go inside show you guys exactly how to replace these two components inside the unit it's not very hard it's very easy to do just follow these steps and you you'll get it done very easily okay guys now that we have the unit turned over the first thing we're going to do is see all the screws that need to be removed so we have a total of one two three four five six seven Phillips screws preferably a Phillips one this is the tool we're going to be using to do it this should be the only tool that you're going to need to do this type of upgrade. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to remove screw number one. I always use magnets so I don't lose the screws. Screw number two. Screw number three. Screw number four. Screw number five. Screw number six. And screw number seven. Now the bottom casing will start to fall down. Just hold on to it because you don't want it to fall completely. These six screws that you see here are basically for the stand. There's no need to remove these at any time for this type of upgrade. So we're going to flip it over and show you the next part. Okay, guys, now that we have the bottom screws removed, the next step is to lift this cover up and slide it out just like that. Now, I'm going to just give you a quick overview of the components. Here's the CD drive. Here is the hard drive slot. Here are the RAM chip slots. There's two RAM chips sitting here, right? One on top of each other. Okay, here is the motherboard. Here is the, here's the CPU. Here is the fan. So, there are the USB components. And this is how it looks on the inside. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to give you a little bit tighter view of what's going on. And then we're going to remove these parts and replace them. Okay, guys, now that we have the top case removed and you know all the components that's all lined up down here, you have two screws, Phillips screws, that need to be removed. We will start by removing the first one. That's over here. And we have the second one. That's over here. Now, these two screws are holding the hard drive casing in place. So, you have to remove them completely. If you don't, the, case, the casing will just stay in place. And this screw won't give me a hard time, but it's okay. I got them out. All right. So, remember, this is connected to the SATA cable. You just don't want to rip this thing up and yank it out. Take your time. Lift it up. Unplug the SATA cable and it's disconnected. Now, as you can see, there's a Western Digital Scorpio Blue original spinning hard drive in here. If you know these things are garbage, they always go bad, so this is the main reason why this computer went bad in the first place. So that's why we'll be replacing it with the good old Samsung SSD. More speed, more reliability. Now, at the same time we have those removed, we have the two RAM chips right here. There's two tabs on each side, one on the left, one on the right. What you're going to do is gently push it to the side and notice it's going to pop up. Once it pops up, remove it. Now, same thing for the bottom one. Gently push it to the side, pops up, remove it. Good. That's out your way. All that's old garbage. Now, we're going to install our crucial memory new RAM chips. Not in too much focus here, but don't worry, you know what it is. There's one. There's number two. So now we're going to install these. We're going to install it the same way exactly how we took it out. Now, they can't go wrong. Notice there's a long side and a short side. Short side, long side. And there's a notch in between. If you look on the RAM, it's the same way. You can't go wrong. So what you're going to do is start with the bottom slot first. 
install it snap it in it's locked in that one's done push this one in on a little angle just go in just a little bit oops hard to see because I don't have no lighting over here but don't worry I'll get it there we go snap it in that's done now your new RAM chips have been completely installed now we're gonna move on to the hard drive now you notice this is sitting in this casing with so let me just see if I can get this focus for you a little bit so you can see what's going on bingo you see this black rib of rubber here now we have to take this out don't mix them up because it goes a certain way there's one on the left side and one on the right one has one notch one has two notches so before we remove the rubbers let's get our new hard drive ready to be installed so now we'll be getting the Samsung Evo SSD out the plastic here we go nice and fresh brand new we're gonna remove it out of its casing this is how it looks very thin very light it's like a paperweight now we might have a little bit of issue because it looks like it's a little bit thinner than this but don't worry about it it's gonna hold it just the same so we're gonna put it the same way that's here and always take good practice of remembering how you take stuff apart. So we're going to put that one there. You see, I said take good practice, and I was putting it the wrong way. We're going to put that one there. And we're going to put this one here. It's a flimsy rubber, so don't be alarmed if it gives you a hard time. Now we're going to gently line it up. get it into the casing it's going to give you a little hard time like I said because it's not a hundred percent the same fit but it will work because all you needed to do is to just sit inside see not a hundred percent but don't worry about it it'll sit just fine when you get it inside Let me try to raise up the back a little bit all right there we go see nice and set not a big deal so now we're going to gently take this and set it right back into place but before we do that we don't forget to plug the SATA cable in because it won't turn on if you don't do that press it down firmly that's it now we're gonna replace our two screws Oh yeah, go ahead, magnet. Mess with me now. All right, here goes one. There goes screw number two. Now we're done here. It's completely installed. Now we'll go back to putting on back the bottom casing which is completely on I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see and now we're gonna have to flip it back over and put all our seven screws back Okay, guys, now that we have reinstalled the top cover, now it's time to put our screws back in and finish our installation. I've already started. I've installed two because I didn't want it to flap around on me on the other side, so I installed one and two, and now I'm just going to install the rest. I have a total of five screws left. And there's number one. There's number two. There's three. Number four.
And number five, because we already installed those already. There you go. Just make sure everything is nice and tight. And that's it. Now we're going to turn it back over on the other side. We're going to stand it up. We're going to power it on, and we're going to install Windows 10. Okay, guys. Now that we have everything reassembled, we have our power adapter plugged in. We have our keyboard plugged in. We have our mouse plugged in. Now it's time we also have our Windows 10 CD installation disk installed in the hard drive because installed in the CD drive because that's where we need to boot from. So now everything is plugged in, everything is a go. Now let's turn it on and start the process. You see it works, so I didn't break anything. And it turns on. So now it might take a little time to boot because it's the first initial boot. Of course, we have to wait for the BIOS to boot up. And now we should be getting ready to boot from our CD. Press any key to boot from CD or DVD, which I did. And as usual, this always takes some time, so just be patient. We might fast forward the video just to skip you through the process, but don't worry. It's currently reading this DVD, so just be patient. And we will stop the video momentarily and come back as soon as it starts booting. Okay, now it's starting to boot up. And you see, as you can see, Windows 10 um, start screen is popped up and it's starting to show us now our language. So we're going to go ahead and select our language. It's English, of course. If you're in another country, you select your country language. Um, we're going to go ahead, USA, English, US, click Next. Now it's going to ask to repair your computer, which we don't want to do. We're going to install it now. Installation process will start. As you can see, it's setup is starting. I'm going to try to zoom in a little clearer for you the best way I can. Just a little bit, just so you can see a little bit better. There we go. That doesn't look too bad there. Put our focus point on the screen. And now it's asking us to install our Windows 10. So we're going to install our Windows 10. We're going to click Next. And we accept the terms and agreements that this is not copyrighted software. This is original software. And we're going to do a custom install because we have to format the SSD to be new. But we don't have to because it's already unallocated oh, un space. Yeah, you get tongue-tied sometimes trying to say these big words, but it's okay. We click Next. And now, there we go. Windows is starting to install. So we'll pause the video and we'll come back as soon as the installation is complete. Okay, guys, now the installation is done. Now we're going to be, re we're, now we're starting to reboot, go into the first initial setup of Windows 10. So it installed nicely. It was very fast. As you can see, we get the little spinning wheel. That means it's booting up. So as you can see, this is the improvement of the SSD. You see how fast it's moving? Very lightning fast. It's, it's going very quickly. So this is the beauty about SSDs. A lot of people don't know. You can get a spinning hard drive for cheap, but if you want to improve the performance of your computer, it's best that you go to an SSD. The SSD does not spin. It's direct access. It doesn't spin. It doesn't have time to turn a little CD inside of the hard drive. It's right away direct, and it just moves. You will be 100% happier. Your computer will move 10 times faster. You will have no lagging time. Your boot time will increase like to three seconds or less of boot time. So you, you will be amazed at how the performance of your computer will be.
after you install a SSD. I mean, old spinning hard drives are beginning to phase out. It's only a matter of time before SSDs just become the new natural, the new normal. So, you know, spend a little more money, get an SSD, and believe me, you'll be more happier with your performance of your computer. Then this goes for any computer that uses an SSD or a regular 2.5 spinning hard drive, I should say. Just give it a little time. It's going through the first boot stages. There we go, which is nice. We got Wi-Fi. Here's Supermods Tech. That's my internet connection. I will type in my password. And too bad you guys can't see it. Unless you could magically see behind the damn computer. I'm going to use Express Settings. That's pretty much it, guys. As you can see, it's setting up things for me and it's telling me don't turn off my PC, do not turn it off. It's getting updates, it's doing all it needs to do. And that's pretty much it. Now, this is how it looks when Windows 10 is completely installed and finished. And as you can see, everything is working. Mouse is working. We could go on the internet. We could do everything. You know, we could search the web. There's Cortana. You see, Windows 10 is fully functional. So, this is how it looks. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. Now, I said this was the end of the video, but I had to just come back and show you guys exactly how fast, how swift this thing moves when you have an SSD installed. Now I'm going on Microsoft Internet Explorer and look at that. Look at that speed. If I click on another link, look at how fast this thing just rolls and moves. This is what it is to have an SSD in your computer. There is nothing to compare to this. 8 gigs of RAM, 500 gig SSD, and this is how your computer can perform. It can perform at max speed. You cannot get a better experience browsing a computer like this. This, this is unbelievable. If you have an old spinning hard drive in your computer, you need to open your computer, throw that away, and do an upgrade. Because believe me, you will love Windows 10. You will also love how it moves with an SSD in your computer. This is unbelievable. Browsing the file system, look at that. It, performance is excellent. Hope you guys enjoy.